Well, good morning, Chapel Hill. I had uh, uh, some announcements to make. I think Cooksey's going to share some things, or has already, and I will be sharing a few things about the reopening of the church. We've had uh, word from the governor and from the bishop that allows us to open as soon as the 24th of this month. We have met as an administrative council, and we've met as a, a, a task force team to decide how to do that, how to transition that. And we've decided to open the church on the first Sunday of June, which is June the 7th. First Sunday of June, June the 7th. And I was going to just go over a little bit of how that's going to look for us. Um, you will be receiving information uh, in the days to come uh, as to some of this transitioning and what's, uh, what that will look like. Uh, for now, we are saying that there will be three services. We will keep our service times uh, as uh, the same. Uh, if they fill up, they fill up. If there's 20 people, it's 20 people, we'll just we'll serve however many people come to these services. Um, the uh, services will be 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11. The doors will open at uh, 7.45, 8.15, and 10.45. So that's 15 minutes prior to every service. Uh, the doors will open. What we're asking you to do is, is to remain in your cars until the doors open. And when the doors open, we're going to ask you to kind of file into the service, and you'll see how that works. There'll be a line uh, coming into the service. Um, and as you do that, we're going to ask you to, in the parking lot and in the church, to maintain a six feet uh, distance between uh, each of you. Um, you're gonna ha we're going to have to ask you to make reservations for these services because we don't know how many people will uh, show up and the capacity for the sanctuary is limited because of the requirements of the state and the bishop. Um, so we're going to ask you to make reservations and we ask you to please take this very seriously. Um, Carol Odom uh, it will be the one, she is our uh, children's uh, minister, and she will be receiving these reservations. I'm going to give you her phone number, and this is how I want you to, to reserve these places because we need a voice-to-voice -voice kind of a reservation. Her phone number is 270-869-4468. That's Carol Odom, and it's 270-869-4468. And as you call in to Carol, she will take your name and number. She will, uh, you will report to her how many people are in your group that will be coming to the church, um, and which service you plan to attend. You just, uh, you can tell her the eight, uh, the eight o'clock, nine thirty, or or eleven o'clock service. And um, she will be uh, taking these reservations, and she will therefore give you a number. And um, we have a map of the sanctuary kind of drawn up, uh, where people will be seated, and we've got the pews spaced out in a certain way. Um, this map, <clears throat> this map that we have drawn out, will be available to for you to look at um, on the website. I think in the days to come, we'll be able to show it to you during these clips, and maybe even by the time that I these announcements go on the uh, online, uh, Krista may have it, a clip, a picture of it, uh, even to show you. Um, but anyway, there will be a number of like a row number and a seat number, just like at a baseball game, that kind of thing, and. And she will assign you that number during the phone call. <clears throat> and we're asking you to keep that number and uh, to, to hold on to that because that's your reservation number. And then uh, when you come uh, to the church, and we're also asking for you to, um, if, if, you, if you have been sick before the service, uh, before the service is like 40 hours before, we're asking you not to come uh, to the service. And that's just kind of common sense. But we're also asking you, Please, if you have to cancel your reservation, <clears throat> please uh, let us know in advance because we can open it up to someone else who can have that slot. Um, seating capacity will be a, an issue for Chapel Hill. Um, uh, we're asking for seniors uh, and those with uh, conditions that compromise your immune systems. Uh, we are encouraging you to stay home and to stay safe. And again, it, it breaks my heart to ask that. But again, it's because we love you and, and I know that you want to stay safe. And so we're asking for those, I believe, 65 and older or for someone who has a, a, a condition uh, that would limit them in this situation. And, and you know the, the, the circumstances. Um, but we're going to ask you to stay home and stay safe. We're also asking for uh, families with children uh, under the age of three 
uh, to consider staying home and staying safe as well, just because it's, it's difficult to ask a child to, to maintain uh, social distancing. It's just, it's just one of the difficulties of, of what we're facing. Um, we will not be providing any nursery or, or child care or anything like that uh, for these first initial services. Um, the 930 service will continue to be streamed so you can continue to watch it from your home. And any of you, anyone who is watching this, please don't feel obliged to come to these services. If you are uncomfortable in any way, uh, we're asking you to go with your, with your senses and what the Lord is saying to you. And we want, most of all, we want to keep you safe. We do want to worship with you. We do want to, we do want to come back together again, um, but we want to do it in a safe and responsible way. So upon arriving at the church, we're asking you once again to stay in your vehicles until uh, 15 minutes prior to the service. Then the doors will open. Some will wave, kind of wave everybody in. We're asking you to, to maintain a six-foot distance as you come into the entrances. And the entrances that will be open are these two main entrances of the church that are facing US 60. The static hall entrance will not uh, be opened. Um, we're asking you, again, to, to stay six feet apart, and there will be signs posted throughout the building to help you in any questions you might have. We are asking you to wear a face, a, a mask, and um, this is one of the things that's a requirement. Um, we can't, you, you can't attend the services without a mask, and so we're asking you to do that. Um, someone will be at the door, at each of those two main doors that are be open. As you come through the door, um, someone will greet you and ask for your reservation. Um, if you can sit, and we're asking again for you to remember your reservation. And so you tell them it's A5 or um, C20 or whatever the reservation number is at that point, And they will kind of give you some instructions or help. And there will be someone in the sanctuary to help you to find that seating. And hopefully we can make it so it's very obvious where those seats are. <clears throat> but that, that person will also help provide you with san hand sanitizer. And uh, so there will be uh, an opportunity for you to sanitize your hands when you come in the church. Um, the worship services are going to be formatted a little bit different. There won't be an offering. There won't be a greeting time. Um, and so there will be no uh, collection plate that will be passed. But we will be putting baskets at the exits of the service so that if you want to put your offering in these baskets so you can feel free uh, to do that. There'll be no food or snacks or drinks. We're asking you to not bring food or snacks or drinks into the into the um, worship area. Um, Fellowship Hall, Administrative Wings, and the Children's Wings will be closed off. Um, restrooms, there will be one restroom available. It's the Children's Wing restroom, and uh, the guidelines are only one person in the restroom at a time, and every time someone uses the restroom, we will sanitize between the services. I think Cooksey is going to be talking to you about how we're going to be sanitizing. I think you'll be, uh, you'll feel secure by the way that we're going to do that. We are, we are kind of overdoing the sanitizing so that we can make you feel as safe as possible. When the services, when the services are over, um, you will be uh, dismissed row by row in the sanctuary and uh, you will be exiting. There will we'll open up all the doors uh, at that point, the two front doors of the sanctuary and the two back doors and that uh, people, will, ushers will help you to exit the building um, in a timely fashion. And again, uh, Cooksey will tell you uh, in, his, uh, in his announcements what uh, we will be doing between services to clean and, and things like that. Um, so we're, we're, gonna, we're doing extra duty to make sure these services are open to you and we're excited about the possibility of, of become, be, being able to come together again. And so please be in prayer for us Again, this information will be posted uh, on the website for you. Um, we're going to do some one calls to let people know this uh, who don't necessarily do the internet. Um, so we'll have Facebook, one call, internet, uh, our, our website. And uh, we will be, I think, even sending out a mailing with this information in it. But all this, we're, we're doing all this because we're excited um, to see you again and to see you uh, together safe. So. Uh, I, I ask that you would uh, just keep us in your prayers, and we will see you, see you soon. God bless.